thanks for coming by. This is going to be a four-part series on how to fix and flip some mowers if you find them out there, if you're into that thing. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. There are many more small engine lawnmower, walk behind, zero turn, you name it, maintenance videos on this channel. Check them out and enjoy. Okay, going to go ahead and <clears throat> scrape this stuff off the bottom real quick. Yeah, I've got to turn this over to the right so that the gas side is up. But I'm just going to hit this big stuff real quick <clears throat> so it's not going to hit into the blades. You may want to take your spark plug wire off when you're doing this, whenever you're kind of turning the blade or whatever down here by the blade just to be safe. I mean, supposedly as long as the safety handles not engaged, it, it shouldn't fire. But I'm just kind of getting this grass out of the way. I'm not making it perfectly clean just so it's not hitting the blade. And I'm going to go ahead and take the blade off too and sharpen it unless it's pretty sharp. No, it's totally dull. So I'll show you here in a second. Let me get this grass off. Pretty easy. Just kind of give it a once over. But I think that hard grass was kind of hitting the blade as it, as it was turning around, as the engine was turning over. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that blade off. Now it looks like it's going to be, it's about a 16 millimeter. And I'm going to use uh, this drive here. It's a hex drive that goes in one of these uh, electric drills. And you can pause and kind of see how I have this set up with a lot of the common bits that I use on these small engines. And here are like the Torx tips, and I got a couple of Phillips heads. I got a flat head there. All of these can go in this uh, <clears throat> in this drill here. Maybe a link in the description uh, to go get one. This Ryobi. It's not the full size. These Ryobis, by the way, they're uh, what do they call them? Uh, one plus. <clears throat> it's called a one plus, one point five amp. And uh, so. It, that kit I got was about 200 bucks, I guess, maybe a little more, and uh, also a drill and a couple batteries, so whatever. They've been pretty good. The batteries aren't lasting as long as they did a couple of years ago, but uh, to be expected. So here, back to the, uh, the little hex bits that I got. Like I said, a couple Phillips uh, Torx tips, and then there's that 5 16 we used on this machine, and then the 7 millimeter so these are pretty common uh, especially the 5 sixteenths and a lot of these and then a uh, 10 mil right here this 10 mil hex uh, it's good so what I'll be using right now to take this blade off is a uh, 16 mil it's a 3 8 drive or you can use you know just a regular ratchet wrench on this uh, socket here if you got sockets uh, if you need to you could uh, or if you have to you know you can use a uh, a wrench, you know, just a regular wrench to get onto this. Okay, so I got I got lucky on this one. There's the uh, bolt. Leave it down there, and you can probably see on this blade if I can like focus it in a little bit. It's in pretty bad shape. Not too good. See the other side. Doesn't look like anything major. It's like just kind of normal use. Got a little ding on it here. And uh, so when I sharpen these, okay, you just sharpen one side. Like right here. See, this side isn't sharpened. The lawnmower blades are sharpened only on one side. And what's important is the angle. Kind of how you got, have that angle right there. Right at the tip there, you can kind of make it out. Is it going to focus? So you want to try to maintain that angle, see it, see it going from, you know, this direction. So trying to maintain that. And a good thing to do is to go flatten it out first. Flatten it all the way out to the end of the bevel. Just flatten that all the way out until it's just straight and flat. <clears throat> Going to take some material off doing it. And then once you get that flat, you want to try to follow the original angle and just create a whole new bevel down to that 
edge of the of the flat that you just made. So it's just a whole new, and I'll show you what I mean. So I just do this by hand, and I have a grinder. You can get a grinder if you care to sharpen lawnmower blades. I mean, it's Harbor Freight. Can't be more than 20 bucks, probably. And, you know, get you a couple uh, grinder discs for a few more bucks, five bucks, something like that. But I'm going to go ahead and use my grinder with a grinding wheel on it. Handheld grinder. Where's mine? So I ran over to get my grinder. I just got this old electric plug-in grinder. It's got the grinding wheel on it. Now, it's not a cutting wheel. It's a grinding wheel. So the grinding wheel is a little thicker. And they're meant to go on stuff like this and, and grind stuff flat. <clears throat> In this case, we're going to flatten. We're going to knock out the hills and valleys right out of here. Okay, get it flat. And then we're going to go angle it and I'll show you the final product but that's what I'm getting ready to do. But make sure it's a grinding wheel and not a cutting wheel. Cutting wheel is very thin and it's meant to go through metal like perpendicular where this one is just supposed to, you know, grinding wheels to take off mega material quick. Okay, so let me get to that and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, here's the blade and uh, you can see what I mean. I kind of just got got a decent profile going on that. If I can focus on it, not sure if it will, but on both sides. And I didn't really balance it perfectly. You know, I just took an even amount off of both sides uh, with, you know, pretty steady pressure always, uh, just even pressure. You know, if I go up and down this thing about 20 times, then I do about the same on the other side. You know, it's in the ballpark. Um, so then I'll just take a hard piece of steel, like I get this old uh, hex drive, just bust it off. I'll just knock the burrs off, because it's only sharp on one side. Okay, so I'll get the burrs off kind of both sides, just smooth it out a bit so it's not like a knife edge or a, or a jagged edge. So I'm just smoothing out the little jagged edge, the little imperfection lines that are just from that stone, right? So leaves a bit of a jagged. Now it's relatively smooth, but still sharp, and we got a good angle. All right, so slap that back on there. And always wear those safety glasses when you're doing this stuff. Okay, this bolt came off relatively easy, even though it's a little rusty down here. And we'll kind of take a look at the oil, see if it needs an oil change from the looks of that stuff when I checked it on the dipstick. Didn't look too bad. Might just go with it as long as it's running good. We'll uh, go with it. <laughs> 